Hey everybody, Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. It is Wednesday morning. Oh, I'm guessing it's about 8.15 right now. I am down on 3rd Street South in beautiful old Naples. 63 degrees right now, 63 degrees. Things are really cooling down. I just thought I'd give everybody a look at what's going on here. Still quiet. Very, very quiet. The shops and restaurants here are starting to come back to life. Just gonna take a little stroll south here on third. And I'll take you over towards the Naples Pier and give you a peek at the beach. It's just so quiet, it's kind of eerie right now. A lot of dead branches on the palm trees. All the pretty flowers that were out in front of the restaurants and shops, they're not here right now. Tommy Baham is here on the right. A lot of cleanup still to do here. Roy. Roy. Yeah, he passed he yeah. passed away. That's why, that's why we are leaving here right now. No way. Leaving. Really? Well I'm sorry about what happened. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, we moved like two two and a half years ago, so we could. Oh okay. Yeah. You know that, that park where I used yes, to say that's yes, yes, yes. But we were watching your um, your um, 
your video. oh, your videos wow. and we, I mean we knew about the place but we kind of all right well that's more neat and more and more. Yeah. <laughs> now I now I don't have a beach right now so be back. oh that's and better it's going to be better. Everything's going to be better. It just takes time. It's nice meeting you. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. The famous lions. <laughs> the lions of 3rd Street South. Keeping watch. The Continental across the street. Doesn't look like they're open. I think Barbatella is open. And I know the pub is open. There is a sign that says the pub is open. The Old Maples Pub. Now it's just me and, and a lot of construction workers. Take a walk around the corner there to see if. Jane's is open. I think Barbatella is open. If not, they're getting ready to open. I mean, they're not open right at this moment, but I did see them advertising on Facebook. And behind here, the pub, the old Naples pub, they are open. That's good news. I don't know what it looks like back there. Love the look of this. Tony's off third across the street.
still have debris piles here. Looks like they're working on getting Jane's reopened in the fountain there. Always, this is always a fun place to come for breakfast. Pet friendly. Jane's Cafe. Take a walk over past Badass Coffee. I don't think they're open, nor the 7-Eleven over there. Smell some I smell something good. Somebody's cooking. <laughs> I thought I smelled bacon. Bacon, bacon, bacon. Let's see if badass is open. There's cars parked down here. So that's a good sign. That's always a good sign. Yes, sir. Our badass coffee is up and running. <laughs> sat here many a times with friends in our beach family having a coffee. Yes. Ah, the old 7-Eleven. Still not open. This is like one of the busiest 7-Elevens around when it's open. Just with all the construction that's usually going on down here, this place is humming with construction workers. closer to the beach, maybe walk down to the end of one of the access points and give you a peek at the beach the best I can. It's just so quiet here this morning. It's going to be a little cooler tomorrow. It's going to be, I believe, down maybe in the 50s tomorrow morning, if I'm not mistaken here. 
63 degrees right now. Looks like a winter sky here. It's just pushed all around. We're walking towards the beach now. We won't be getting through there. Twelfth Avenue South. Got a lot of the debris picked up here, a lot of it. A lot more to go though. As you see over here on the other side of the road, We are two blocks east of the beach right now. That's the parking lot over there behind the Old Naples Pub and Tommy's Tommy Bahamas on 3rd Street South. Uh, 
so much mud here, so much mud. Slippery, slippery, slip and slide in here. Have to be careful. Go see what the Palm Cottage, how that held up. through the water here. There's a layer of like mud, caked mud in these puddles and it's like walking on ice. You gotta be really, really careful. Palm Cottage just up here ahead of me on the left. It actually looks like it did pretty well. I'm sure they got some water damage, unfortunately. Those banyans are still standing. This is 12th Avenue South, the road to the Naples Pier. all up in here. All up in here. Look at the Palm Cottage here. It's still standing. Amazingly. Amazingly. oldest home in Naples right there, the historic Palm Cottage. Wow. She and the grass is green on the back lawn back there. Over on my left, the parking lot for the Naples Pier. Empty. The 
This was always kind of a fun little view here. You look through the cutout of the palm and the gate here at the Palm Cottage. You see the fountain back there. That's where they have, that's their event lawn back there. Looks like the Cheeky's still standing there too. Wow. Hey Connie, good morning. Daryl, good morning. All the dead bushes, the wind took its toll on these. But if we were allowed to continue walking to the west, that's where the pier is. Right over there. Right down that road, at the end of the road, at the circle. What's left of our historic Naples Pier. We'll take a little walk down one of these side streets here and see if we can get a peek at it. We still have our palm trees. <laughs> some of them are a little tattered, some of them look great. I look at the west side of Palm Cottage in the event lawn, the Historical Society. This is where they have their events. Hey Rose, good morning. We're coming back here, folks, we're coming back. Naples, we are Naples strong, believe me, Naples strong. It's going to take a little while. Everybody's making the best of the situation, doing what they can to help others. You know, a lot of our friends up north, you know, they're itching to get down here. It's really... Yeah, we love you guys, but it's really a little early. <laughs> I'd say wait. I would give us a little time to get things back in order here, but I was thinking of something that you could do to help those restaurants and shops that you frequent down here in the wintertime is do some early Christmas shopping right now. Go online and buy gift cards to those restaurants that you like down here. If you can buy their gift cards, the shop's gift cards, if you can buy those gift cards online, do it. Help the restaurants and do some early Christmas shopping. By supporting the businesses, you're supporting the locals, the people that need the jobs. You know, it's a two-way street. It's not just about the businesses, it's about the people that they employ. We need to keep our economy going here. Oh, there's hardly any sidewalks to walk on here. This is Broad Avenue here. Broad Avenue. Walk down the, there's a neat little sidewalk that runs down the middle of the median under the palms. Amazing, some of these older homes are still standing.
lot of work to be done here. So much cleanup. Cleanup crews everywhere you look. Take a peek at the beach from up here. Sounds like the surf is up. Walking the trees are all knocked over here. Big sea grape laying down on its side here. Huh. Buried in the sand. Look at that. Make sure all the stairs are here. I don't want to fall down on my face. I got having one bad eye, my death perception isn't the best going up and down stairs. But there's a look at the beach and the Naples Pier, what's left of it. Plenty of signs, plenty of signage. And there's the important sign. Stay the heck out of the water. Stay out of the water. surf is really up here. Got a little serotonin mixed in with the bacteria. All the dunes brown. All the vegetation on the dunes. Such a sad sight. Our beautiful pier. It's gonna be rebuilt. Trust me, it will be back. Looks like the stairs are kinda of there. Under the pier? Mm -hmm. Look at those waves. From right here where the concession stand used to be, from there on out, there is nothing left of the pier. It's pretty much just a frame. And of course the T 
with the pavilion down at the end, that is gone. The, the end of the pier has vanished. Some of the railings there. That's what's left of our majestic pier. It will be rebuilt. It's going to be better and stronger next time around. Trust me, that is a community landmark. Not going to let it disappear. Just rooftops left now. Pelicans don't have to worry about getting hooked by the fishermen. That's something positive. Kind of a beach walk right now, huh? Or I'm on the beach, barely. Or just piles of sand here. I think I'm going to call it a morning here, my friends. I just wanted to give you a look at old Naples, give you a glimpse of what's going on down here. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for the stars. I appreciate that. If it wasn't for your financial generosity, I would not be here right now. Thank you. All right, until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong. Tally-ho, my friends, tally-ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.